Hello you all, Sibu here. Pretty excited to finally put together this tutorial as requested by some of my friends on how I built the EDM track that I used for the following video instead of Premiere using loops, samples, and one shots. So really quick, let me show you guys the video so you know what I'm talking about. So quick background, where I work, somebody mentioned that some of the music that I was using wasn't necessarily modern enough, but after I got over it, I decided to jump on Google and try to find some options. And I found a bunch of different websites that allowed me to even license music from real EDM artists, but it was incredibly expensive. Eventually, I ended up landing on this website, and it's called splice.com. And what splice.com is, is a website where some EDM artists allow you to license and, and use their loops and samples from some other tracks. There's actually even some very popular EDM artists that license their loops and samples in here. So the website is fairly easy to use. It even has a plugin that, you know, once you download it and install it, it gets added to your toolbars here up at the top. And it even creates a little folder on your finder here where all your sounds and sample packs and loops get added and like a lot of websites you know you buy credits and then you are able to download the sample packs that you want came in here and on the search i ended up typing trap which eventually i ended up coming across this sample pack called liquid trap it's actually kind of cool because you can even use this beat maker tool down here and with your keyboard you can sample some of their loops and samples. But anyway, so this is a sample pack that I ended up finding that I really liked. And once I downloaded it, this is what it ends up looking like and some of the samples that I liked are some of these. So yeah, you, you guys can see this really great quality stuff. They're WAV files, so very high resolution audio samples. You wanna make sure that all your assets are found in one place. And so I'm gonna copy it onto my project file, which Premiere, Assets, Audio, Music. There you go, I'm just gonna paste it right there. And then inside of my Premiere folder, recreated that same sequence of folders. And then I'm just gonna Command I and I'm gonna import this entire folder for music. Let's import it in here. All right, there you go. Now you have it. You can access all your loops and samples. I did go ahead and kind of structure my whole workspace a little bit more friendly towards music production. And all I'm gonna be doing is closing some panels that I'm not gonna be using. I'm definitely gonna use the audio clip mixer. I'm going to drag it right on top of my sequence and it's going to make more sense here in a little bit. Get rid of this metadata display. I'm going to get rid of the media browser, get rid of libraries. I don't need that. Info, don't need that. Don't need effects for right now. Get rid of my markers and get rid of history. <laughs> get rid of history. Anyway, <laughs> next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the source window right above my project. And then I'm gonna grab my program right next to my source. So it looks a little bit like this. This is actually a pretty nice little layout where you can access your audio clip mixer for each one of your tracks, which you guys are gonna see here in a second why we have it this way. And it's gonna make it a lot easier to mix the uh, samples. And then right here on my project, it's way easier for me to see which samples and which loops I'm gonna be using. If you guys have used any software to create music like Fruity Loops or Logic, some of these programs actually have loops like Apple Loops that you can drag and drop and create tracks out of those loops. So essentially we're doing the exact same thing except we're doing it instead of Premiere. 
versus Logic or GarageBand even. I already went through and figured out which loops and samples I wanted to use to build my track, starting with this. And what's cool is because they are perfect loops, you literally just drag and drop them onto your timeline and they should all line up almost perfectly on top of each other. When they don't, I'm gonna show you guys how to get around that. First things first, make sure your snap tool's on by hitting S or clicking on the little magnet tool here. And we're gonna go ahead and listen to the next sample, which is this kick, right? And we're gonna drop it on here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. You can see this isn't this isn't perfectly lined up. And because we're on frame view, I can't zoom anymore. But no worries if you've never dealt with this before. You just right click and click on show audio time units. And it's gonna allow you to zoom in even further all the way down to you know that. You know, pretty crazy, but we don't need to go that far. So I'm just gonna come here to the edge. I'm gonna drag this. All right, we're just gonna make sure that it's nice and even. So that's pretty good. All right, perfect. Here, let's listen to the next one. All right, we're gonna drag and drop this guy right here. All right, and I'm actually gonna do this like this. All right, but we don't want it, we want it to stop making that sound right about here, so I'm just gonna. All right, perfect. I'm gonna add a little, you know, default transition here at the beginning. All right, let's listen to the next. Ah, so this riser, right? So let's drag and drop this guy right here. And actually, I want this riser to end right with these guys. So it'll be like. Next. Ah, let's drag this guy down. All right, but we don't want it to keep going there, right? So let's just clip it there. Could even end a little bit sooner, right? Good, next. All right, so these little chants. I knew that I wanted to make a 30 second track, so I put my in and out points around the 30 seconds and I gave myself a little bit of leeway here at the end so I can uh, move stuff around. And I added this to my program window, which creates a loop if, as long as it's selected. And the way you do that is you just click on the little button editor and you find a little loop and you just drag it on here and then throw it on there and hit OK. And if you hit OK, like once it gets to the end, it will automatically loop. And it just makes it easier when you're building this track out. But anyway. So obviously that chant's way too loud, right? So A6 is the track. And see, this is why we have the audio clip mixer here. Instead of moving this around, you know, I can actually come in here and do it here. It makes it a little bit easier. That's actually not bad right there. Cool. All right, so that's pretty much it for the build. Now for the fun part, the drop. All right, starting with, uh, these 808s, let's drag and drop that here, and then line it up with the first chant here. It's actually a good way to line this guy, or the end of this track. So. And as you can see, these 808 end before we get to the end of the track, so really easy. You just uh, hold option and drag, and because they are perfect loops, uh, it should line up fairly, fairly easily, right? So, right to the end. All right, next. All right, these little synth stabs. Make sure it's lined up at the beginning of this.
Seems like we gotta do the exact same thing here. Okay, we're gonna zoom in here. Line it up with this guy. Then let's check out the next. Alright, drag and drop it here. Make sure it's lined up. So we gotta do the same thing here. Perfect. Let's see what we got here. It snaps. All right, and here's our trap hats. And let's just drop those in here. Again, make sure it's lined up. And as you can see, they end before they need to, so we're gonna do the same thing. Option drag. And I recommend you line it up with these instead of the end of this. Yep, and then for the very last one, some claps, of course. All right, option drag here, just to line these up. We just pieced this track inside of Premiere, and as you can see, they're just loops and samples. So I actually went ahead and did some tweaks and stuff to the track. There you have it. We just built EDM track inside of Premiere using nothing but loops and samples that we downloaded from splice.com. By no means am I saying that Premiere can replace Ableton or Logic or Pro Tools, but you know, if you're in a pinch and you don't know how to use any of those programs, you know, there are options and you can download some cool samples from a sample pack. Uh, it doesn't have to be just from Splice. There's a bunch of other websites but you can actually piece them together instead of Premiere. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, like, share, and subscribe, or drop me in the comments if you, you know, have any problems or whatnot. So until next time, hope this helps, and I guess I'll see you guys. Peace.